My Gavan and Melanine, and well met indeed. I'm Eric Ergaladirthin, the head of Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to Divide and Conquer as we play as Umber. And it is an end turn, so let us continue from there. And let us pray that Can continue to sod off back to their own lands, and we can <laughs> regroup. Once the invasion is over, uh, Sauron will almost certainly call it on Umbar again. He's very single-minded. We're a bigger threat than anyone else at the moment. Umbar will likely be an invasion target again. However, we will get a brief respite, and in that time, we will march on Cand with everything we can. Oh, they really are helping us out. We've now got a full army Your down there. Will be thrown to the door. And they have fully moved away from our land. Have they attacked someone or something? And Karagmir got a caravan stops. So it's now growing again. And they still have not attacked us here. I'm displeased at this. However, in the north, Dol Amroth seems yes, to have changed no. their mind about coming across the river. How far can he walk? Not very. Let's, your orders, let's my block lord. him over here. My lord. I don't really want to attack them. I just command. want to keep them away at the moment. If I can, I want to avoid Dol Amroth for as long as humanly possible and just keep flitting around them. And then eventually, in time, I might consider attacking them. Well, not, well, once we've got this blooming invasion dealt with. We only have five more turns until Umbar needs to rally. Obviously, whilst, as I said in the last episode, we're not losing very many men, because there's only one battalion besieging the city, we are still losing men. So we need to sally sometime soon, or we are... The, it which will not be in our favour. Nazgul has returned to Mordor to win in a resplendent, and the ring has been found in Erebor. See, as an evil faction, I must confess that I agree with those who say that the ring is really... No, oh, thank you very much. Ifaron? I, I don't really want to do anything with Ifaron, actually. If you could just nod on. I plugged that in about five minutes ago. Why is that only just popping up now? That's ridiculous. Oh, do sort your life out, phone. I have such a terrible phone. It's so basic. Right, it doesn't look like Hand are going to attack us anytime soon, despite the fact that the city wall doesn't even need siege equipment. There will be much and he has now built a full you. contingent of everything. Um, let's do it. I think we have no choice now. We shall Pray for us. <clears throat> Right, the biggest threat is going to come from the generals of each of these factions. Uh, Mirdad's army, whilst useful, is still basically malicious, save for the two clan guards, so... Show no mercy! Kill them all! Of course, once these guys have all sodded off, if we manage to win this and kill all of them, then Ugalug is going to siege the city, and he has a full army. I don't... I've not really foresighted... Not foresighted, I've not really thought ahead for this, have I? I need to send reinforcements south. Or we might lose Umbar. Oh! I've just started the battle as well. Oh, yes, of course. We're we're running out anyway, aren't we? So, what does it matter? As long as no one's on any walls. No. Right. The enemy are coming to join in, yes. But they will almost certainly attack us. They'll most likely rush to this area where we are and they will just attack us. So we want to try and use the walls to our advantage, like group in a corner or something like that. In fact, that is exactly what I'm going to do. We've only got look, 60 archers, give or take, maybe 70, just over 80 something. So they're not really that useful. Our strength comes in our four generals. So if we hold in this little corner here, we can really do some damage, I think. So everybody go out. He will probably just run away. Uh, he'll move backwards. Although we do have to actually kill them, don't we? Ah, but they are coming. Oh, they, maybe they'll just group up with him. I don't know, because they're allies of him. They're not. The act, they aren't the with him. To have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. I don't know if this is going to be a really bad idea. Because. Oh, I should pause it, really. Why am I doing this like this? Pause.
tight. Form a tight little group. Now, of course, if we don't win, we won't lose the city, but it will end in a draw unless we lose like the, the entirety of our force. You group up with them. Oh, no, what we'll do with you is we'll get you in. Um, you just come and stand here for now. I'm going to put you in to shield wall formation. Same with the, uh, the Nardu Tarek. Now, the Nardu Zagar stand in reserve. And the Narrows also come and just stand there. Time six. Gate's not open or anything, is it? Oh, yes, yes, it is. Is there someone glitching out behind it? No, it's just glitched. Brilliant. Marvellous. Maybe if they all stand still, the gate will shut. Um, I just don't know what run are going to do. Oh, they are grouping up as a single unit. Oh, damn. Damn, 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 and blast and damn. All right. And then we have very little choice. Oh, isn't the gate open because the gatehouse is damaged? There aren't any other damaged gates, are there? No, I don't think so. No. Uh, they're coming for us. Which is brilliant. So, General's Bodyguard, you're the best thing we've got to stop the Bodyguard of Canned. To charge them. And you gentlemen charge in there. Something changes in the course of battle. I am the praying that something changes in the course of battle. Only half the enemy force remains. The Variag nobles getting annihilated. <clears throat> Our archers, come on! Do as you're told. Waiting for orders. Variac nobles are down to only ten. Men have slain the enemy oh! Lose their will to fight. Which one is it? The enemy army flees the field. Well, we at least got Ruka. See, the cavalry bodyguard can't stand up to a solid spear bodyguard. And it's about their only Achilles heel. Pray something changes in the course of battle. Oh, shut up! Defeat seems almost certain. Whose side are you on, you idiot? Oh, is that the cavalry arriving already? No, they're the cavalry running. The run reinforcements haven't arrived yet. The Loke Rim are very, 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 very good against militia. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. That goes without saying. But against elite units, their only strength is to charge. If they can use their charge, they're very, very good. But if they are trapped like this against elite units, they're pitiful. They're really, really bad. And uh, and that's where the weakness of um, run is in this one. There's more Variag nobles heading in across the hill over the there. Enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost and the uh, run reinforcements men. are quite a ways away. And they appear to have stopped. Oh, yeah, you wait. You take as long as you want, lads. Take as long as you like. 
Right, if the orc looters are broken, attack the bodyguard. We need to be. We need to turn and face sometime soon. We've lost half of our men. Oh. Only nine left. I can never tell which one the general is with Ram. Rune. Maybe that guy because he's got a really ornate helmet. Yeah, all the others have a different one. With a standard one feather. He has three feathers. There are now only five of them. Oh, hold on. Ignore the archers on the hills. Oh, he's he is pulling away. Hit those ranged orc looters. We need to just stay as a group. We're going to have to use our whole army as if it's one battalion. They're routing. Four of them, they'll probably do some damage because they're getting hit in the back. Oh, do some damage, they wipe them out. There's only four of them! Idiots. Do not chase them down. Stand in a line. Oh, get them before they can get another charge. Seems almost certain. Yes, come on. One solid defensive unit, and you will survive, my friends. Oh, there, those nobles are lasting a lot longer than Our all. men have fought long and are becoming tired. Where's the can? The running? Oh, there he is. Can just general. The Zork looters came back. Changes in the course of battle, but defeat seems almost certain. No. Only half the enemy force remains. Keep on, men. Keep on. Mere dad is coming. No. <laughs> we may well lose Umbar, everyone. If we can take as many of these buggers with us. There's nothing really I can do. We're, we, we've got less men than a standard battalion has on its own. We just have to hope and pray that we can take one of these generals before that all arrives. <laughs> the nobles are down to 11. Seven. Kill him! Come on! The feat seems almost certain. He got away. They're still shooting us. No, not one of us. No! Zagadakor! They're javelin men. Is that? They're still throwing javelins at us, even though we're now completely surrounded. Fight to the death, men! We've lost Umba. Although Uglag will bugger off now at least. I don't know how to call this episode something without it without giving away what has just happened here. We will recover Umbar. Whichever army takes this, I think it will be Run will likely win it. They are far too far away to be able to come back and support. And there's Mordor, Kand and Gondor between us and them. So they are going to lose Umbar very quickly. And we can snap in. It might even rise up and join us again, actually. Let's keep it at time six. Look at that little circle of defense. Oh, it's brilliant to see. Shame, but it's brilliant. We killed almost 50% before we went. And they're still killing even now. Where did the cowards run away to? Look at him over there. Look, the final man alive. And now he's just waiting, just poised on the edge. Where did the Variag nobles go? Are they at least showing bravery? No, they're lingering on the edge. 
cowards. Cowards all. Makes my blood boil to think that we share lineage with these men. We share some connection. When we march on Mistrand and when we march on Stalertzakand, we will leave no man alive, the coward has shown this day by the forces of Ran and Kand. We will raise their cities to the ground. Payment for this death. The generals are still fighting. Standing alone in a three. Look at them. Go on, lads. Who will die first? They, that literally is each general. That's incredible. They just don't want to give up, do they? They're pushing for the time. <laughs> Can you imagine if the time limit ran out now? How insane would that be? I mean, maybe if we'd attacked straight away and not dillied, we might have got them faster, but I don't think it would have made a difference. One of them's gone. They're down to two. Razan. Oh, that's perfect. We're going to call it the Three Brothers. And if you're wondering why this episode is called the Three Brothers, it's because of their defiant last stand by these three our gentlemen. Slain upon the and our general was the last man to die. Oh, I salute you, sir. Huthaifa. We're going to name somewhere after you for that. Absolutely phenomenal. Rukar gets away alive. Bruder, Broder gets away alive. No, Rukar died, didn't he? He's the only one that did. <clears throat> so I wonder if it will go to Kand, actually. To Kand. Or if... I hope it goes to Kand, because then Run will just run away. They're not going to stay here and fight. We're far too far away from their homeland for them to bother. The Misty Mountains will certainly return home. We are miles away. They have no interest in us. Uh, so I'm, I do hope it does go to Cand, actually. No, it went to the Easterlings. And our capital has moved to... Hold on, I made this one of the keys on my mouse. No, that just zooms the map in. I don't know. Which one has become the capital? Gothafa's Glory? Yeah, we've moved... Oh, our generals lie slain upon the battlefield. We can't pull them away from there. They're far too important. Chelka. Uthaifar's rest. No, why do I always not press the shift key for long enough? That's how his name was spelled, wasn't it? Yeah. Uthaifar's rest has been renamed in honour of our great general. Yes, my lord. Oh, what do we do now? Right, one of you is You're going right, to return. Lord. Caldemir the yes. Wrathful. You're As going you to there to, go, to control I them. Uthatha's rest should the be able to hold off Lorgan. Yes, because Havenmaster Kassan, with fairly, with basically no yes. troops, is going to return. We shall continue tomorrow. And reclaim our great capital. We will take almost the entire garrison of Ankaragmir. We'll take what we can of Ramlond. You can take a Corsair garrison in place of that. We'll gather an army and we will take back Umbar. Of course, there's a large Candish force in that fort there. I wonder what they'll do. <coughs> well, we weren't up to the task. We could not hold the invasion force back. Nah. But we will get Umbar back. I swear it. <laughs> I'm so disappointed, but that was so epic. The three generals standing to the end, back to back. Courage. They showed true courage. True courage indeed. We failed the mission. Yeah, I think we've I think we've pretty much failed everything we could possibly begin to do. Oh, good lord, he can move far. I was thinking, let's try and position him somewhere where he can um, move straight into the town on the next turn. Oh, I wonder if I can hide you in the trees. Yes. Yeah. Stay there. Your orders, my lord. 
With honor. Oh, I mean, I thought you've got a garrison that's not really needed. Uh, oh, Harondor mercenaries. How much do they cost, though? They cost 630. Uh, put a unit of them in your training regime. You gentlemen Call head south. Dol Amroth have crossed the... No! Bugger off! Uglag, of course, now also doesn't have this increased movement speed that you gain. Oh, bro does come for us. Will be thrown to the dogs. Marching to war. Yeah, that's right. You run away, you coward. To war, then. Save it in case it crashes. We bring the I'm not letting you get end. back. You fool. I hate them. I wonder what run will do, what rune will do. Surely they're not going to try and branch out and create a second empire. Goes our way. Right, the pipemen are key here. Hishari, move off on the left. Want you to flank on that side. Trollmen, move on the right. Flank on that side. Oh, he's positioned himself atop the hill. Come out of that. Hishari. Now he might turn and break on the Hishari or the Trollmen. The Trollmen can withstand a cavalry charge because they have a very high mass. Uh, so cavalry is not very effective against trollmen. However, the Hashari are weak as you like against cavalry, so you have to, you have to be cautious. He has 31 men with him. And this is the same coward that man that stood at the back and watched our men die. And today we will show him what death really means. Perched atop the hill means nothing, friend. Uh, Pikeman, if you immediately charge in, actually... Now, the enemy will do the like same this, thing that they always do, the which is they'll fight and fight and fight and fight and fight, and then when they think they've got a better chance of running and then charging you again, they'll do exactly that. So, we need to get to the point where they think they're going to... Now, surround them! Surround them! Oh, he stands alone! No, he doesn't. He's got a brother. He's got a friend. He's got a friend. Take him down, men! Come on! Now he stands alone. Behold how our cowardly catch him, catch him. Yes! That's what you get. Sit down, sir. This is a clear victory. <laughs> yes! Yes! We lost six men. We only lost six men and they all came from the pikes. I am far happier than I should be at that victory. I've taken it as a personal insult that Can attacked us and then just sieged us out rather than fighting. The enemy finds us here. Victory in your name, my lord. Who else have you got? Send someone else. Is there no one else? We will fight them all. Sadly, however, we will not be able to fight them all here. Although we should probably try and trap yes, Aragorn and get him now while we can. Oh, goodness gracious. White Knights, Pikemen, Haven Guard. He's got Talon Knights already. Where are they getting the money from? Two units of White Knights. They've got five experience. Oh, my God. I never thought that it would. Uh, this game would ever be this difficult. I must, I must confess. I've lost my capital city to an invasion. Although, albeit, it was almost the last invasion force that actually threatened to take the town we lost it to to the to the dr to the dregs of the invasion arm invading armies but Dole Amroth I just can't crack them I just cannot Your beat orders, them my lord to battle Uthafa Gibran he's not got very many men actually which is the only thing working in our favour there are only 42 of them there's only 31 of them but he's got full contingent of both Haven and Talon and Catapults. Catapults are a pain. We've only got 35 Southron Lancers. We'll have to use them wisely. What's Gibran got? Oh, it doesn't show you, does it? Because it's useless. Gibran, yeah, control yourself. Join in. Oh, right. Let's do it. Perhaps we should try... Well, assassins are so rubbish in this. The chance to kill enemies is so low. I don't think we have any town that can even train them either. 
but we could try. We could try and send some into Dol Amroth. And try and just cut the head off the snake. Or the swan in this case. Okay, do we think the enemy is going to attack us? And where are our reinforcements coming in from? The right. They've got to get around the farming network. I think there's a reasonable chance that he's going to be confident and cocky enough to come for us. So we will set up in anticipation that he may run at us. Oh, two of you, what are you going to do? You can go and annoy him. Try and get him to come and join in. One archer and one <laughs> flag carrier. We have four pikemen. Alright, 177 of you and 28 of you go on the right. 87 of you and 41 of you go on the... Oh, I've done it wrong again. On the left. Go on the... They're on the left. They're on the right. And south on answers. Pikemen, I'm not really sure what to do with you. Could have sent you in as well. He is. Cocky bugger. Right, the cavalry are hidden. We'll keep them that way until we need them. Their cavalry, of course, is going to hit so hard. I want you to stand behind them like that. No, they've got a perfect hit. Oh, they've just taken out loads. Go on, lads. He's taken out a Haven Guard. He's killed a Haven Guard. My voice just went far higher than it needed to there. I can't believe they just killed a Haven Guard. Right, the enemy have abandoned their catapults. Now is the time. Gibran, get a bloody move on, you numpty. White Knights have a very, very poor charge, but they have an incredibly high attack stat, and they're very, very good in melee. They've also snuck through the gap, the jammy buggers. Of course, Dol Amroth is my favourite faction. I edited their stats many, many times. I Their faction is entirely... I had Well, I had no hand in the unit creation, so how the units look, that's entirely someone else. But how the units perform, the d direction of the faction, pretty much everything that can be coded about the faction was coded by myself. So you'd think having that insider knowledge of them would allow me to at least do some damage. But no, all I can tell you after having done all that coding and stat creation is that they're really powerful. And to kill them is a challenge. Oh, there's the catapults dealt with at least. You no longer have to suffer those. Our line will break very quickly. But if Gibran can kill what they've sent toward him. Oh yeah, pikemen. The white knights have charged pikemen. Now as I said, the white knights, yeah, they're not very good on the charge. Very poor indeed. So it all comes down to prolonged melee for them. Which they are good at. We can kill Aragorn, that will that will help us out. Oh yeah, turn around, but you're not doing anything. You're doing the same. Everybody come off defense. One course over. Oh, there's three pikemen. Well done, friends. Come back. Our cavalry have killed the catapults entirely, but they don't really have any infantry we can charge. Their army is basically cavalry. Oh, those cavalry will be pitiful. They'll, they'll just die. The pike. I should have attacked with Gibran. He has all the pikemen. And the AI is going to just you waste him. It's going to be useless. Still got some archers firing, though. Oh, those white knights have been depleted and defeated, which is good. Oh, look at the dead. Look at the dead. Scum. Lancers of Dorin Ernil. They're very good in the early game. 
And the Haven Guard have gone south as well. They're very aggressive. Where are the Talons? Now I appreciate that Swan does not have Talons. It has webbed feet. If we continue but like Talon this, Knights we is such a cool name. And it's much better than Dismounted Knights, uh, Dismounted Swan Knights or Dismounted Knights of the Swan. I don't know where the Talon Knights actually are. Are they attacking us? I didn't see any infantry up here. There's Lancers. There's Squires. Oh, you're not being attacked anymore. Turn on them. You gentlemen aren't being attacked either. Oh, we might, we might win it. We're going to lose so many, but we might win it. Where did their general's bodyguard go? There's still Amor's men at arms. I can't see. Oh, he's over there. The Royal Swan Guard. They've taken down the narrow and arrows. I, I can't see the talons anywhere. Oh, they're over here. And there they are. Talon Knights. They're going to slaughter those pikemen. Get your rangers involved. Alright, let's worry about what we can actually affect. Which is the battle up here. Come off of shield wall. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Dick, excuse me. We are ready to strike. Get involved. We continue like Is that this, a general coming back? No, they're the, the squires. <coughs> <coughs> oh, there's the swan card, though. Oh, they have come back. What is it? What is it looking like? Oh, it's so even. We're going to pay so much that we're going to lose the crossings of the Anduin for this. Use your pikemen the against them. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Oh, oh, look at that, the White Knights. Without their general, they may lose heart and flee. Oh, no. Gibran just died. Get involved. Kill that son of a gun. Right, who's not doing something? Get involved! <laughs> if we can kill him, we can turn the tide. Oh, there's a... Corsairs. Why is he Silver Surfer? Corsair Raiders. Officer. He's not been Silver Surfer before. I'll write that down. Corsair Raiders. Officer. Oh, it's because they're mercs, aren't they? And I've not given him a merc trait. I thought I did, though. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, how we did them. Where's the general now? He's down to eight men. And there are pikemen getting involved as well, which is good. Who's shooting us? There's one Dolama Squire, he's no longer a threat. Some Royal Swan Guard. Oh, I bet that's our ally, isn't it, shooting us? Just everyone, just charge them. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Alright. Why is it only moving those? If 
If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Kill Aragorn. What's still alive over here? Let me guess. Haven Guard and Talon Knights. The Talon Knights have only lost 30 men, and the Haven Guard have lost 60 men. And yet they continue on. All right. Why won't it let me move them as a. Why is it grouping them as some weird unit? Oh, I don't know. I think it's probably to do with the fact that there's only one man in each of those. <clears throat> no, the Talonites are slowly falling. We are ready to Who are they fighting against? Corsair Pikemen. Yeah, shoot at them. Shoot at them! Everyone shoot at them! Flaming arrows to deal with the armour. Ah, uh, units are routing. We've got to kill those talents. Just keep shooting them. <laughs> just not getting any kills, are we? Still 53 Haven Guard. They're just moving around the battlefield, beating everyone as they go. They're so powerful. Use every arrow we've got. Come on. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. We've surrounded them. Gibran is fleeing. There are only now oh, Haven Guard, Talon Knights, and the one general. He's got him and one guy left. No. Come on. Come on. Slay the beasts. There's 11 of them. There's 10 of them. There's 9 of them. Six of them. There's only three of them, so we've beaten them. There's one, two, and three. How many Haven Guard are still alive? 51. <clears throat> the tide of battle seems oh, to have turned this, against mm, us. There's we two men. You're fleeing from two us. men. We're not going to win, everyone. They're going to defeat us completely and utterly. Where did the general go? Apparently, he's so powerful on his own that he has the ability to rout entire units. It's just ridiculous. And uh, this is why you never let the AI control your armies. Keep shooting them, ignore everything around them. seems almost certain. No, it doesn't. Attack. They're shaken. Units, Sally 
Oh, if, they're, if they're going over there, if they're going over there, ignore them. Somebody, please, just kill him. Someone just kill the son of a gun. <sighs> There's only 21 Haven Guard left. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We are the true Duma Day. He's managing to kill us now because there's only two of them and there's hardly anyone left. So those two units on their own are getting enough of a charge. Every time he gets a charge, he's getting a bonus. And he's still eager. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> and people moan to me that Dol Amroth only have 18 men in their bodyguard unit. We wait for it's like, have you ever actually played as Dol Amroth? Because this, this is the reason they only have 15 to 20 men in their bodyguard unit. He's lost his he's lost his other guy. Come on, there's only one guy now. He can barely kill anyone. Where are the Haven? There's only eighteen of them left. Go on, archers, go on! There's just no point charging him, because as soon as he thinks he's going to die, he just runs away. Just like that. And of course, we attacked them. If he gets the time limit down... Our allies have fled the field like cowards. Ah, oh, the enemies of our allies have run. It's just us. The Talons are on their way back. They'll slaughter us. I don't even make the bodyguards of Dol Amroth that strong. Uh, well, the bodyguards are strong, but the generals themselves are not. <laughs> He's just going to keep running around. The Talons are here now. The Havens are right. We'll never defeat them. They're slaughtered. Our general has thrown his life away. Oh, for God's Our sake! Of victory. The feat seems almost certain. We've been dealt a stinging defeat. <sighs> 181 men he got back. This is worse than fighting against Run and losing 2,000 men to a single bodyguard unit. I am so angry at that defeat! <laughs> Oh my god! I can't make that bodyguard unit any weaker without giving them like five men. There's just nothing I can do. How Harad managed to beat Dol Amroth as the AI is beyond me. Because uh, Dol Amroth are just the most overpowered faction this game tomorrow. has got. Because their units are available much quicker than the elves. And when you take that into account, uh, there's a massive argument to suggest they're the strongest faction going. One. He survived with a... S and how did 32 of them survive? They died right at the beginning. The game is just hates me. The game is working against us. We've lost Umbar. we just lost the armies there. Ah. But with, with resolve, we'll be back. At least we aren't fighting Gondor now. And Khan seem to just have ignored us. They've buggered off, so... An order. Right, I'm going to end that one there. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. I am Eric Ergaladirithin, the head of Divide and Conquer, and I'm struggling very much with Umbar. But do stay tuned for more as we continue to at least try and defeat Dum Dol Amroth, the buggers. And we'll reclaim Umbar, hopefully. So until we speak again, dear friends, Navar and Aden Perimad Melunin, and farewell.